Hi everyone, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about disposing of hardware assets using the disposal flow. As part of the asset life cycle, assets that can no longer be repaired, assets that have reached the end of their life, or assets that have been retired because they are no longer needed by the business, need to be disposed of systematically with an audit trail. The hardware asset disposal flow provides customers a system to automate this process. This is especially important when the assets being disposed of include sensitive information or regulated material. The hardware asset management process guide outlines the steps that should be taken to properly dispose of hardware assets. Organizations should ensure that all hardware assets are properly disposed of and work with an authorized disposal company to ensure the safe and complete destruction of their devices. Throughout the process, assets are continually updated so that asset managers can maintain a full visibility into where their assets are located. Before the disposal process can be completed, asset managers must upload valid certificates of destruction, which ensures the organizations are compliant with regulatory requirements. I'll now jump into an instance and walk you through the disposal flow. Okay, so I've logged into a Vancouver instance of ServiceNow with hardware asset management installed, and I'm logged in as the HAM administrator. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be creating a disposal order and going through each step of the flow. So the first thing the, the hardware asset manager is going to do is gonna be go to the inventory workspace and he knows that he's got a bunch of assets in his Canada East stock room that need to be disposed of. So we can take a look here at the hardware that's in this stock room. And we can see if we sort here on pending disposal, we can see we've got a bunch of assets in this stock room that are pending disposal. We can also see that there's a pallet uh, a disposal pallet in this location. So for some reason, there's hardware assets that aren't on the disposal pallet, but then there's also a pallet with a bunch of assets that are on it that need to be disposed of as well. So the next thing that the uh, inventory manager, stocker manager, or hardware asset manager is gonna do is go to the disposal orders, and they're gonna create a new disposal order. So they're going to pick which stock room has the, the assets they want to dispose of. It's automatically populated the location. They're going to assign this to, let's say, the support technician. And they're going to pick which company they're going to be using. Now we have a generic disposal company in this instance. So you'd want to specify the company you're using for your disposal order. And then we're going to save this disposal order. From here, what we're gonna do is add our planned assets. So which assets are we going to be disposing of? So if we come into add, and let's take a look at uh, the model category pallets and find that pallet of, of assets that needs to be disposed of. So we can see here, we've got pallet 84, which is a disposal pallet. And we're gonna add this pallet. Now you notice when we added the pallet, it actually added all of the assets on the pallet individually so they can be tracked individually by serial number. So all of these four assets that were on the pallet are now on the disposal order. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's any other. Um, let's just go to model categories. It starts with computers. We wanna get rid of just computers today. And we're gonna take a look at say the substate Let's take a look at four pending disposal. Okay, now here we've got a bunch of other assets that are all pending disposal. So we wanna get rid of all of these ones at the same time. So we can just select this, which will add all seven assets to this. So now we have one very large um, disposal order with 12 line items, one of those being the pallet. So 11 assets that are being disposed of. Uh, we can just show these alerts and basically this is just changes that are applying to parent assets. So some of these probably have child assets as well will be applied to the child assets as well. 
So we're going to go ahead and save this. And then the next step will be to go to our disposal tasks. So the very first step in the disposal task is someone needs to verify that all of these assets are going to be, are the right ones to be shipped to the actual um, disposal vendor. So they, you want to make sure that these are in fact the serial numbers of the devices that are actually on this pallet or in this shipping order that are going to the vendor. So once you've gone through and confirmed that these are in fact the right devices, you don't want to mess that up, you can basically click on verify these assets. And so we're going to verify all 12 assets. And then we can go ahead and close this task. And now we'll go to back to the disposal tasks and now we can see a schedule pickup. So we're going to open this task and the support technician needs to call the disposal company and possibly get a disposal order ID and say, oh, schedule the date on when these are going to go out. So they're going to pick them up today. Who is going to be picking them up? John Doe is going to be picking it up. Any pickup details that need to be had. Uh, so pick up at the receiving doors and any additional info they want. And we can go ahead and close this task. So now this has been scheduled for pickup. John Doe from Disposal Company is going to be coming to get them. The next task that's generated is the asset departure. All right, so in this task, the, the John Doe from our disposal company has come to pick them up. Um, if they're using a shipping carrier instead, you can track your shipping carriers. It's not mandatory on this. Um, and we're gonna confirm that all of these 12 assets have been picked up. Now this is really important because we wanna make sure that if an asset is going to a disposal company, we have to make sure it is it is the assets that are from our system, the ones we planned on going, nothing else has been thrown on um, because we wanna make sure we're accurately tracking those. Disposing of an asset, you know, the, the disposal company will take ownership essentially of those assets and ensure the safe and total destruction. So if these assets have any confidential or any kind of PII data or anything like that, they should have been scrubbed before they go to the disposal vendor, however, that disposal vendor is going to be responsible for making sure these are safely and securely destroyed. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm that yes, all of these are the ones going, only these ones are going. We can remove one if we want, um, if we decide not to let it go, or we can add one if we want as well too, if something else has been thrown on. So we're gonna go ahead and hit depart. And all of these are gonna be flagged for the, their departure. So if we go ahead and we open one of these asset records now, we can see that the state of the asset is no longer in stock, it's in transit because it is being shipped to the disposal company. So we can come back in. Oh, I probably didn't, I need to close that task. Sorry, I forgot to close the task. Go ahead and close this task. And now we come back to this and a new, a new task has been created for vendor confirmation. So we need to make sure that yes, did we ship those assets? Did they arrive? Right? So we take a look at all the assets. Yeah, all those were shipped. All those arrived. Vendor confirmed that those arrived. And we're going to close this task. So we've confirmed, the vendor confirmed, they have them, they're in their warehouse, they're going through the destruction process. So the vendor will take some time, they will safe and securely destroy all of those hard drives, all of the, the different pieces of equipment, and they will provide you a disposal certificate. So this is really important. If you're working with a disposal company that does not provide you the disposal certificate, you might want to rethink that or insist that they provide you a disposal certificate which guarantees that your assets have been safely and securely destroyed or disposed of. There's a lot of potential fines if information gets out there or if any kind of 
if they end up in a landfill, you could have some sort of fines for environmental fines for not safely and securely disposing of electronic equipment. So before this task can be completed, you're going to have to actually attach disposal documentation. So again, the vendor should be sending you a disposal certificate and you need to make sure that you attach the certificate to the disposal order. So um, what we can do here is we can come into our attachments and we can download the disposal certificate and then we can go ahead and we can select the disposal certificate and attach this to the disposal order. So now all of your assets are linked to this disposal order and the disposal certificate is attached to the disposal order. So if you ever need proof that an asset has been safely and securely disposed of, you can find your asset in the asset repository, navigate to the disposal order and see the disposal certificate. Um, we can go ahead and may say, yep, yeah, all 12 of these were on the disposal certificate. So it's safe for me to go ahead and dispose of these. And now they are all completed. So again, if we take a look at that asset now, it has a state of retired, disposed. And if we scroll down in here into the disposal section for one of these assets, we see that here's the disposal order number. Here's the disposal company. Here's the vendor ID. Here's the date it was disposed of. And if I need to, as I mentioned, go in and get that disposal certificate, I can just open up the disposal uh, order and see the disposal certificate. And that pretty much concludes doing a disposal order to safely and securely uh, dispose of your hardware assets. I hope you found this helpful. Talk to you soon.